Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about the Woman King because apparently now all of a sudden everybody done started to wake up to the Woman King. At first, people were just like, "Oh, cool, it's a movie. It's finally an original movie about black people doing something in history, right?" And Lord and behold, because I already talked about this with Finn. If you guys want to, um, I will link the video that me and him did together where we talked about this and we talked about how the woman king is a bastardization of African history and is and is um not a a well beloved history in Africa you know as you know the Dahomeys they were part of the reason why you know, the colonizers were able to enslave Africans throughout Africa at the time, especially throughout West Africa. Um, so it's kind of funny, you know, Viola Davis is talking about this woman empowerment and how we need heroes. And if we have a whole bunch of, um, if we have, if we have characters like Black Panther and Blade and Spider-Man and Iron Man, we can have black superhero movies or whatever. And it's just like, wait, no, hold on. You, you can't use this story as a heroic movie because it's not and you you you're saying that this is supposed to be based on history well then you need to be true to the history and understand that you guys weren't in danger from the colon from um the french you guys were helping the colonizers the europeans you know get slavery it was when the french tried to abolish slavery is when you guys fought against them so if you're going to tell this story you need to tell the story of where you guys were enslaving millions of of people of africans and you know people were trying to abolish slavery and you're not going to tell that story because that will look bad on you so to even use this as some kind of empowerment women thing is so kind of stupid and so ignorant um idiotic -y. Uh, idiotic see that you know we have to we kind of have to talk about it because right now the trailer the trailer has get, gotten a lot of dislike because a lot of people are like wait what the hell i think some people are probably turned off by the title of the woman king anyway which understandable because that's that's just stupid we're not stop stop with the stop with trying to make male masculine words also mean um also for females it's it's, it's dumb it, it honestly is dumb and what we need to do is tell the truth. How come we have to we have to fantasize this whole thing? If you're going to tell this story, which y'all pick this story specifically to try to be like, oh, this is empowerment to women. So what are you trying to tell women that, hey, you should go around your country and enslave your kind and sell them off to white people? To show how empowerment you are, but then when um, when the when the white people come around and say, "Hey, slavery is wrong," we're gonna fight for us because we are the home. Like what the fuck? This shit don't make sense. Y'all are doing the absolute most. Like my God, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, what were you possibly thinking? Like, no, seriously, I really want to know what the hell y'all was thinking because this shit don't make the sense God gave. It honestly don't. I understand you want to tell empowering women, I mean, empowerment, black female story, and that's fine and all, but there's a time and a place for it, and everything has its time and everything has its place. But when you sit up there and you try to try to change the history, something that is well known to um, a few people, I mean, to a, a, a actual continent that's actually in their history, you can't get mad that some black people are probably like are starting to wake up to it. I'm like, wait, hold on. Wait, these people were slavers. Yes, of course they were slavers. They wanted their tobacco, their their products and everything, and they would do anything to get all of those um, European, um, pro, uh, you know, stuff and to make sure that their kingdom was the best ever. And if that means hunting down other Africans, selling them off, 
enslaving them, making them do things that they didn't want to do against their will. You damn skippy that kingdom was doing it. You damn skippy the Mahones was doing it. So for Viola Davis to even have this thing talking about, you know, working in Africa feels like coming home. To what? To what? Slavers? When, especially when you complain about being being um being trapped by white people or not feeling to be enough or being trapped by the colonizers that you guys claim and then you go you go and do a movie about a tribe that enslaves their own people but you're you're not going to talk about that or let's talk about the fact that how the um the homies easily got defeated easily got defeated by the french colonizers i mean by the french no no we're not we're not going to talk about that are we we're not going to talk about how they got wiped out easily because you know you're trying to do this whole female empowerment women are stronger than men and if they stand together blah 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 no the, when the french came they were shooting they were shooting and y'all didn't know how to handle it y'all didn't know how to handle it you lost bad you lost bad but again you're not going to talk about that you're probably not going to talk about that. And again, if somebody's criticizing it, oh, they're racist. No, nobody's being racist. If anything, you, you again, Hollywood, this love magical fantasy of let's change things around and hope nobody won't notice. People notice. People are not as stupid as you think they are. Stop treating people like they're stupid. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. People are not stupid. That's why people are starting to downvote things. This is why the Little Mermaid um, trailer is getting negative review. This is um, this is why Pinocchio got negative re review. This is why um, people are criticizing Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. Like you, you're 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 not listening to the issues because you want to try to create this whole fantasy thing of black people are perfect, and they're not. They're not. We all have our own evilness within each other. But to sit up there and try to blame everything on the colonizers, especially when it was this tribe right here, the famous tribe that was literally helping enslaving people. You were enslaving your own people to another country. And now you're trying to make this women empowerment, women better than men nonsense and can't take my power, my power, my power. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. You, you, go, you go too far. You honestly go too far with this stuff. And the only reason why I'm talking about it is because it's kind of funny just to see how people are, st um, are starting to react to it right now. Because like I said, when they first started, people weren't really reacting um, badly to it at first. But now that people are starting to realize like, oh, shit. This tribe did some terrible fucked up shit. Now people are like, oh, snap. Yes, because everything, you know, black people weren't always that perfect. They weren't. And that includes the dear homies. You know, you sold your own people for what you did. What, let me see. You, um... You sold them for goods such as rifle, gunpowder, fabrics, coal wire, shells, tobacco, pop, um, pipes, and alcohol, and um, and then all of the slaves that they that they took during um during the Atlantic slave trade, you decided to keep them as slaves for yourself, and this includes women, men, and children. Holy shit, what the hell is wrong with you people? And you want us to praise this? You want this to be a triumph fit? No, people are going to look at it and be like, whoa, what the hell? Because, again, you're not going to tell the real truth to the story. You're not going to tell that truth. And that's the problem. If you were going to if you're going to be honest about it, that's that's fine. And then on, on top of that, you also had routinely mass execution and large, large scales of human sacrifice during the festival celebration known as the annual customs of the Dahomey. So, you know, <laughs> you were literally like killing your own people. Not only were you killing your, your own people, you were selling them off. And then the few that they didn't accept, you, you kept them as slaves. 
And then you did human sacrifice with the few that you had. Come on, Viola. Did you not even Wikipedia this? It is not right to tell this story and try to make it some heroic thing, some empowerment of woman. It's not. It is not. No, this is not the story we want for women empowerment. But hey, this is what y'all want. This is what you want. So you can have it for all I care. I'm, I'm not going to watch it. I feel like it feels like a spit in the face to the people who who has ancestors from that time. And it feels uh, like a disrespect to the African um, history itself because you wanted to do some woman empowerment thing to feel one with Africa, but don't want to take the responsibilities and acknowledge the fact that they did wrong. And now you're trying to turn it into some kind of heroic thing and trying to label it as a superhero movie when it's not. It's not. It's t OK, whatever. But it is what it is. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Thank you.